to the plight of the chairman, uh, know that he's very serious about these issues. Uh, appreciate that he worked with my predecessor, who I know is very serious about the fiscal state of the country. But I feel like the chairman is uh, in a position where he's like Charlie Brown and Lucy, meaning his leadership, uh, the majority leader, Harry Reid, has pulled the football from him uh, for what we need to do in this committee, which is not just presenting a plan out there for us to all be here today and give very eloquent opening statements about on both sides of the aisle, but to really roll up our sleeves and take the hard votes on the plan and the amendments and the things we like and we don't like about it and be willing to go home and tell our constituents why we took those votes to put together a fiscal blueprint for this country. And I can't tell you how excited I was to be put on the budget committee because of the important work that my predecessor did on this committee, much of it with you, uh, Chairman, and others on this committee. Uh, but I've been incredibly, incredibly disappointed. And it's very difficult for me to go home to the people of New Hampshire, who I think, like all of our constituents, have great common sense because they're dealing with a tough fiscal environment at home. Uh, they understand that uh, they've got money coming in. It's less money than they had before in many instances, and sometimes it's more bills. But they sit down and they figure it out and they balance their budget. And we know that not only they do it, but uh, every business in this country does it. Uh, when you served uh, at the county government, you had to put forward a budget and, and you did it and you made the hard choices. And yet here in Congress, I think they look at us and they look at uh, the Senate as a place where unfortunately there's been a complete failure of leadership because you can have the best laid plan, but if you look at the time that this committee has not been doing what we should be doing, and I, and I know that it's not because of the chairman, but because it's uh, really a failure, I think, from the overall leadership of uh, the majority in the Senate uh, to say, go do what you were set out to do in the Budget Committee, uh, to put forward the blueprint, the budget work, because I've been here on this Budget Committee for over 700 days, you know, never done a markup. I don't know what it's like. I'd love to do a markup. I, I'm willing to make the tough calls. I'm willing to vote on amendments. I'm willing to, to take tough votes and go defend them to my constituents. But that just doesn't happen around here. It just makes too much sense. And with no other plan uh, that if you aren't willing to back up what you have to put forward around here by your actions and willing to take the votes, then there's no point in just having a plan floating out there without the courage of your convictions to be able to back it up with a hard vote. Uh, that's what we were sent here to do for the American people, and rightly so, that's what they expect of us. So I would share the sentiment of my colleagues, uh, I think on both sides of the aisle, this is incredibly disappointing given the fiscal crisis that this country faces. Because I got up my couch and decided to run for the United States Senate because I've got two children. I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. And I know that if we don't get this right now, it's not just about everyone else in this room. But we are passing on massive amounts of debt and diminished opportunity to the next generation. And I don't ever want to look at my children because I know they're going to say, Mom, what did you do about it? And so I want this committee to actually take votes and to do what is right for this country. And I hope, I appreciate that the chairman wants to do it, and I don't want you to be Charlie Brown. I do not want the football to be taken away from you anymore uh, because we can't afford to continue where we are in this country. And you know what? We better put it on the line and make some decisions and make the tough calls to get our fiscal house in order. Uh, because you think about it, if Every hearing we had that was sort of a political hearing around here, I call them these political sham hearings where we're, we're uh, trying to prove a political point instead of solving a problem around here. If we were able to take every single one of those hearings and we were actually working on the real problems facing this country, we'd have a balanced budget right now mm. if we spent our time doing that. And, and that's what the American people deserve. And we need to be accountable to them. And I think. At the end of the day, right now, we should be uh, ashamed that we aren't marking up a budget to take the votes here 
and I think it's a failure of leadership. Thank you. I thank